welcome to my channel. Today's video will be about how to do this look using Body Heat Quad from Tom Ford. Recently I made a video showing the three new quads from Tom Ford. I already made one video using um, Indemnity, which was more of a smoky eye, very, very elegant. And this one will be about body heat. Here it is. It's a beautiful quad with warm and kind of cool tones. And if you would like to see how I do this look using this quad, please keep on watching. I think I would start first with my eyes and then finish my face later. And with my brush, this one is from Tom Ford, Natural Hair, my Fix Plus and just wet that brush. And I start with the, uh, I think I will use this color first right here and apply it to my eyes with my wet brush. Oh wow. I think I went over the line a little bit. I think these colors are perfect if you have brown eyes. They are definitely more intense when you wet your brush. And a little disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist. I have never worked in the industry. I'm merely an enthusiastic of makeup. Oh. I really like this color. Now with my ton brush, and this one is the done brush in number 13. I'm gonna go with the darkest color right here. And I did not wet my brush for that. Um, right on the corner of my eye, on the outer corner, I'm gonna draw like some sort of V and always up to make my eyes look better, longer. Okay, and we're going up, 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 always up, like a martini glass. This one is one of my favorite brushes because it's perfect for this corner right here. Now with my small brush, Haku Auto Fan brush, I will go back to that light color right here. And right on my brow bun, just give it a little bit of light to my eyes. Now coming back to this palette, I'm going to go with that. This one is like a lighter brown color, lighter version of this color. Go back to that inner corner. We're going to blend these colors. That's a better finishing. And I did both colors with one brush. Now with a pencil brush, I'm going to go to the darkest color on the palette. This one, go back there again same color and darken the lower lashes of my eyes use uh, eyeliner with this look yep i think i definitely will with a clean brush this one is a ysl i go back to this area of my eyes and just blend those colors now with my sonia g smudger 2 i will go back to that light color and add it to my inner corner. And I really like making series on videos. I think I can pull, I think I can do at least two more videos just using this um, quad, eyeshadow quad alone. I think I would love to do that. I might do that in the future. All right, now I will use my pencil from Chanel and Tightline. I have to, even if I have to use um, liquid eyeliner, I still have to do this step. Please feel free to skip it. But I have very few eyelashes and this step really helped me, uh, or helps my eyelashes look fuller. I also notice if I do liquid eyeliner, and I don't do this step, you can see kind of the gaps between my eyelashes and that's not good. <laughs> now I will use this liquid eyeliner from Tom Ford and it's great because 
let, let me show you. It has two sides, the longer side and the shorter side. And what this does is that allows you, when you are drawing that line on your eyes, to fill up the little, either fix the mistakes or just fill up those little tiny spaces between your eyelashes. Or when you draw your eyeliner and it's just too thin here, too thick, you are able to come back with a smaller side and be more precise with your eyeliner. In this case, I'm just gonna use the, I'm gonna use the smaller size right here. And it's kind of difficult for me to do this and talk at the same time. It's like applying red lipstick and talk. See, it allows me the smaller um, felt side. It really allows me to go right between those tiny gaps of my missing eyelashes is in an easier way. Just go as close as possible to my eyelashes. I really don't want to take like too much space of my eyelid because I don't have like a lot of space. And then you won't be able to see the eyeshadow. Now with a longer side, I will go and draw my little tiny wing. And there you have it. That's my eyeliner with a little wing. All right, I'm back. Um, I went offline because I wanted to finish my other eye and it takes me some time to draw uh, the eyeliner. Now I'm back and I will finish my eyes with mascara, my usual Dior Eyelash Maximizer. I always use this step for my eyelashes to look thicker. Also, it's like a like a treatment to make your to keep your eyelashes strong. My regular mascara from Chanel Levium. You know what could look real good with this eye look? Falsies. It would be great. But it takes me forever and I don't want to mess up my makeup. And after I'm going out to dinner, you guys are getting ready with me and I can do that this time. But I promise I'm going to master the falsies and once I do that, I will add it to my videos. I think I will smoke my eyeliner, my bottom lashes a little bit right here on the corner just a tiny bit not much and come back with my pencil brush and just smudge 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 i didn't take it all the way to the center or um to the end to the inner corner of my eyes and let us finish with the mac mascara this is a great mascara. I've been using that mascara for years. You know one step I like to add to this fancy eye look? It's like a, not a white, but kind of like a skin color uh, eye pencil to the inner uh, side of my eyes. I will show you. This one is from Chanel. They have many others. This is how it looks. But I gotta be careful because me being dark, a lot of those pencils uh, make me look funny or my eyes look funny. There, it really makes a difference. I hope you guys can see it. Kind of open my eyes a little bit. And that was from Chanel. Now, moving on to the skin, I will use this one from um, Tom Ford, and this is great. I had it for a very long time. This is the Intensity 2 to contour my face. I will use the, this brush from Sephora Pro. This one is the Buffing Detail. I got this brush. I'm going to have a little bit. As you see, I'll explain. This brush is kind of very compact and small, and the angle shape and not being very big it helps you when you apply it to your face just a tiny bit. Don't rub because you don't want your foundation to move 
underneath, but you just kind of like pat, 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 little, little, and a little bit on your nose, on your forehead to contour that area as close to the hairline as possible. And then we work it up, always up. A little bit on your jawline. Come back on nose and just make sure I blend. Because we want all the colors to look very blend. I'm gonna go back to my Sonia Kashuk sponge and do that right here. I'm gonna go back to concealer. I think that Town Ford concealer um, doesn't agree much with my foundation. So this is the Chanel number 91, caramel number one. And I'll add a tiny bit right here and on the bridge of my nose, just for more light. I really like this concealer. And the combination of both Le Taint foundation and this concealer is just perfection. Blend, blend, blend is your friend. Now we're going to move to powder. We're going to powder my face with this translucent powder from Chanel. And this is number three. And Chanel has different colors, medium, light, medium, and dark. With my brush from Hakuhoto, not much because this foundation is already matte, but it's gonna help to seal this cream product I added to my face before we move to bronzer and contour. This is Terra bronzer from Tom Ford. I will use my regular Tom Ford um, blush brush of the exit here. Just add a little bit, a tiny bit, a little bit of color. Now my Tom Ford highlighter, and this is um, Reflex Kilt with my Sonia Kashuk fan brush. We're gonna use this color right here, the gold color, lightly because this is serious business. <laughs> Add a little bit here. We want our makeup to look cohesive. A little bit of my bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow. Can you see that glitter there? <sighs> this is serious. <laughs> but don't worry because all these powders will be blent on my skin pretty soon with my setting spray. This is my blush, number four Savage from Tom Ford. This is my Suku brush, regular for my blush. And the reason I use a softer uh, bristled hair is because these blushes are very pigmented. So you got to treat with care. Right on the highest point of my cheeks is where I apply my brush. I want to kind of define my cheekbones for a more kind of bronzy look that goes along with this eye look. Bring it a little bit always to your eye, um, brow bone because that way your makeup looks more cohesive and like all the colors come together. Perfect, we've done with that and we'll move to lips. This is the thing with Tom Ford lipsticks. I only have like four colors that I really like, but they don't go with this makeup look. That's why we're going to be using Stone Rose from Charlotte Tilbury and this is how the color looks. It's a beautiful, peachy look, very natural. But first, let's clean my lips. And we're gonna draw my lips. I usually, most of the time, not always, like to draw my lips and use this uh, lip liner. And this, this one is Chicory from MAC.
I will apply the lipstick directly from the bullet. And this is a color that I agree with every skin tone, from the fairest to the deepest. It's really, really complimenting and ah, the texture, it feels so soft on the lips, very nice. And it doesn't um, travel around your lips. This is the lip gloss I will apply on top of my lipstick. And this one is from YSL. I applied a little bit on my hand. This one is in color number two from the Gloss Volute line. And of course, a lip brush. And apply this color right in the center of my lips. Okay, we finished with my lips. Now let's finish with my eyebrows. I'm gonna use my clear gel from Chanel to finish my eyebrows. Since I already powder, I know they're not gonna get already, they're not gonna get bushy. And the last step will be my Air Flash Radiant Mist. And I know it has color, but you don't really see it, but it just makes my skin radiant and beautiful. It seals all those powders that I applied on my face. It's very, very nice. And it comes in two colors, light to medium and medium to dark. This is the final look. I hope you like it. Using Body Heat from Tom Ford. I will make another video with the next one. Please stay tuned for that because I'm making a series of looks with the new Tom Ford quad and this one was body heat. I already did indemnity in my first video and the next one will come in soon. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this look. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post videos like this. Thanks for watching, see you next time.